everybody and welcome to Fun with Fractions. Today we're going to be talking about thirds. We have already talked about halves. When we split something into two equal pieces and we've talked about quarters. When we split something into four equal pieces. Today we're going to be splitting things into three equal pieces. Now each of these pieces is called one third. Let's take a look at our learning sentences for today. By the end of this lesson you should be able to say I can recognize one third, two thirds, and three thirds of a shape. And you should also be able to find one third and two thirds of a number. Okay, are you ready to start? Let's go! Here I have a circle that has been divided into thirds. It's very hard to fold a circle into thirds properly. So we have some nice lines here so we can see it. I am going to cut this circle into thirds. One. Two. Three. Now, I can tell if this circle has been properly cut into thirds by putting each piece on top of the other. You see that they fit perfectly. Each piece is the same. Now remember, in fractions we are talking about equal pieces. When I divide something into thirds, I'm dividing them into three equal pieces. Now, look at how one third is written. What do you notice? That's right. The top number tells you how many pieces we're looking at. And the bottom number tells you how many pieces there are. So, one third means one piece out of three equal pieces. Here is a picture of a snake from your snake fractions tool on your Collins account. This snake has been divided into three equal parts. What fraction of the snake is the red part? That's right, the red part of the snake is one third. One piece out of three equal pieces. Now, what about the red part and the yellow part together? What fraction of the snake is that? Excellent! The red part and the yellow part together are two-thirds of the snake. Two pieces out of three equal pieces. What about the whole snake? What fraction would we talk about then? Very good! Three pieces out of three equal pieces! Fantastic! Are you having fun yet? I am! Now we have a snake that has been divided into six equal parts. Each third is a different color. So, how many squares are there in a third of the snake? 
very good. Each third has two squares. So one third of the snake is two squares. How many squares are there in two thirds of this snake? Very good. If one third is two squares, two thirds is four squares. Fantastic. We're having a math party. We're having a math How about you? Let's look at this snake again. What if each square of this snake was two centimeters long? How long would the whole snake be? Don't forget to count in twos. Excellent. The whole snake would be 12 centimeters long. Now, how long would one third of the snake be? Very good. One third of the snake is two squares. And if each square is two centimeters, that makes four. One third of the snake would be four centimeters long. All right, smarty pants. How long would two thirds of the snake be? Oh, you're just too clever for me. Two thirds of the snake are four squares. So, Four twos make eight. Two thirds of the snake would be eight centimeters. How clever you are. Um, mm, 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 mm. It's, it's really good. Mm. Yummy, yummy. Mm. Um, oh! For this activity, you will need whiteboard and whiteboard marker, or a pencil and paper, and something to count with. I'm using colorful popcorn, because I really like it, and I can eat it afterwards. Nom, 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 So, the first thing I'm going to do is draw a circle on my whiteboard. Nice and big. Then I'm going to divide that circle into thirds. Now remember, when we're writing drawing thirds, each piece should be the same size. It's not quite there, but it will do for this activity. Now, what if I want to find out One third of twelve. How do I do it? Well, I'll start by counting out twelve pieces of popcorn. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There we are. Next, I'll share those 12 pieces of popcorn into the circle. So one, 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 one. I'll know I've done it correctly if each part has the same number in it. So four here, four here, four here. So one third of 12 is very good. Four. Okay, smarty pants. 
What about two-thirds of twelve? If there are four pieces of popcorn on one part of this circle, how many pieces of popcorn are there on two parts of this circle? You are just too clever for me today. You're absolutely right. Two thirds of 12 is eight. Fantastic. So, why don't we try and figure out one third and two thirds of 15? Okay, what I want you to do is pause the video, figure it out, and write it on your whiteboards. Then press play again. Watch me do it and see if you're right. Are you ready? Me too. Did you press play again? Ready to try it? Okay. Did you start by counting out 15? of whatever it is you're using? Good. Now we share those 15 in our shape. One, two, three. 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 All right. So I've shared all 15 pieces and I see that each part of this square circle has the same number in it. All right. So one third of 15 is one, two, three, four, five. Did you get that? How clever you are. All right, what about two thirds of 15? If one part has five in it, how much does two parts have? There's five here, five there, so that makes two thirds of 15, 10. Did you get that? Fabulous. As a reward, eat your popcorn. Um, 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 um. I really like popcorn. Mm, mm, mm. Now let's take a look at your workbook page. This page can be a bit confusing, so I'm going to explain it here. There are two different ways that you can do this workbook page. You can do it as a game, or you can do it more simply. That choice will be up to you. If you choose to do it as a game, there are some things that you will need. You will need a thirds color spinner. If we were in school, I'd have these ready for you, but we're not. If you need a thirds color spinner, you'll need to make one. It's simply a circle that's been divided into eight parts. We have a part for one third blue, one third red, and one third yellow. We have a part for two-thirds blue, two-thirds red, two-thirds yellow, and we have two blank spaces that say spin again. So if you choose to do this as a game, you're going to need to make one of these. This you're going to need some help with, so ask mommy or daddy to help you. You're also going to need a pencil. This is one of my favorite pencils. And a paper clip or a safety pin. I'm using a safety pin here. Now, looking at your workbook page, we can see that it has on it pictures of rockets. Each rocket has been divided into parts. What you need to do is to colour one third or 
two thirds of each rocket either blue, red, or yellow. Now, if you want to do this page simply without the game, then find the rockets that have the same number of pieces. Color one third of one rocket in one color and color two thirds of the rocket with the same number of pieces in another color. Do that for all of the rockets. If you want to do this page as a game, then you take your thirds spinner, your pencil and your paper clip or safety pin and use that to tell you what to color and how much to color it by. I'm going to show you how. So, I've drawn a picture a bit like the rockets on your workbook page. And I am going to use my spinner to help me figure out how much to color and in what color. So, I take my spinner, I put my paper clip or safety pin right in the middle, and I hold it down with my pencil. I put it right through the hole so it can still move but it's not going to go anywhere. And to figure out how much to color it and in what color, I just give the safety pin a flick. And it has landed on one third blue. So I need to color one third of this blue. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. I need to divide it into three equal pieces. Let's see, one, there, three equal pieces. So I see that one third is two, and I color two spaces blue. And I can use this spinner to figure out how much to color on all of the rockets. Why don't you try it? Oh my goodness, what a math party we've had today. We've had confetti. We've had popcorn. We've had sparklers. We've had games. And we've had poppers. I hope you